Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So, this is a bit of a different review because this is something which I've literally had sitting in these boxes um, for over a year and a half now because I picked these up on my way to Malaysia last year when I stopped over in Hong Kong. Yes, I know they're the wrong direction, but that's what happens when you try and book budget flights. Anyway, they had a whole range of these little model train, you know, kit style things about their very own metro system, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, and they had a bunch of different sets. Um, so, you know, this one was the uh, pack one and pack two combined set. Seemed most logical that I'd go there. And the most exciting part about this is I actually didn't leave the airport. So I don't even, didn't even see the trains in real life, but I couldn't go past a train set in a box of a Metro. So we're gonna have a look and take a look at what these are in this uh, kind of review style opening unboxing video. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. is a pack is because my understanding is this pack um, is the one that comes with the engine and you get these track pieces as well as some buildings um, and then this one is just some track and some other buildings um, which is kind of cool so you can't really just get this one you really need to get both so I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna see what all right so opening the contents of this you get the two sets of track so this is from the one set and this is from the second set then you get a bunch of these gray plastic pieces and I was like what and sure enough also a bunch of stickers to put on all the different buildings so then we also get this instruction manual which I'm assuming is going to explain to me um, yes how to uh, work the engine yep instructions and um, instructions on how to do the sticks as well which is great and super importantly you get the little model engine so let's take a look at it um, this is pretty nice actually. All the stickers on this are all printed. They're kind of like Thomas Minnie's printed style. Um, you can see you've got the orange engine. It's obviously been decorated with a certain, this motif. Um, that's what's on the top, front, detailing on the back, which is nice. And you come underneath and what we've actually got here is uh, motorized wheels. And this is one of those track systems where you can see there's a guide pin. And so this slots into the guide pin. But quite interestingly is they actually provide you with a little set of wheels too. Um, so if you want to use this just on the ground you can clip on the set of little wheels underneath cheetah wheels and this train will go now i've already put some batteries in it off camera and you can see that you um put a little switch on the back there um and that's what allows this train to go so in terms of sizing this is thomas wood you can see that's the kind of the size that we're talking about so not as small as i think i thought they were going to be but still a pretty interesting size um and again as you can see there's no coupling on this so you just get the single train that operates as a single unit. So I'm gonna put these stickers on and then we're gonna set up this set. All right, so I've um, stickered up all these buildings and made a layout. Now, as you can see, the stickers were um, quite detailed. Like you put four stickers on, one, two, three, four, and then one here on the roof, which then slants over, and a second one around the second layer of roof. So they're quite detailed, some of them, and these dragon boats, for example, look really cool, right? But Every single detail you see is a separate sticker, so they're quite painful. And they're those weird kind of stickers that don't really stick on very well. So I really don't trust their longevity. Um, but anyway, with the two packs you get, um, this was the biggest layout I could make. I still had this one cross piece left over, but I don't really know how I can use that um, in the layout. So you can see you can kind of make this kind of track in inverted commas. And the way the buildings work is that, you can see, you can see the stickers are kind of coming off. They are hollow space underneath, and they will just kind of friction in around the pegs on the on the board. Um, you can see you get four of these, one, two, three, four of these like kind of scenery pieces, and then the rest are all track pieces with a couple of little bits around them. Um, these are all meant to be like semi-famous Hong Kong landmarks, but are uh, on this line in particular, but I have no idea what they are. So um, if you know, you are more than welcome to let me know. Um, so yeah, that's that. Here is the little set of wheels you can clip on if you want to use the train separate from this track section but otherwise we're gonna put him on and put him on the track and see how he goes so you can see that's it going around there essentially you know this kind of like put the little slider in the train track thing is not uncommon um i actually had a little set like this or actually quite a few sets like this with our planes as well as trains as a kid um that i got from like various different you know museums and stuff so it's not like a new concept per se but i think it's quite clever um i've always thought it's quite a clever concept because it is you know kind of like magic because the train just knows where to go um 
And yeah, very easy to set up, you know, really easy to expand. I actually think it looks kind of cool. Obviously, nothing is to scale. Um, but in terms of like a playset, I think it's pretty nice. And again, I think if I was from Hong Kong and I knew the actual landmarks, this would be far more interesting to me than it actually is. Alrighty guys, so that's my little um, unboxing slash look at the uh, Hong Kong MRT Pack 1 and 2 playset. Um, obviously this is one of those videos which I just kind of decided to make because I was like, I've got a cool train thing and I think people might want to see it. Um, and you can tell me your thoughts at least for the next month and a half until all comments on my channel disappear forever. Wee! But don't worry, there's a video coming about that soon. Alrighty guys, um, I hope you found this one a little bit interesting, a little bit different, um, and just something that's a bit off the wall. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's something that's cool to you. Um, maybe because I mentioned Hong Kong, um, it'll be flagged as not for children given the current situation over there but i don't know we will all be we will be revealed on the 1st of january 2020 apparently so anyway that's all we're watching thanks for well, watching guys um i hope you're all good and good sorry for disappearing for a while but alas uni does that to you especially around exam time but uni's done so hopefully i'm gonna pop out a couple more funner videos before christmas because i'm actually pretty much done with most of my reviews for the moment so that's exciting all right anyway enough of me rambling thanks for watching do those cool things to do on youtube while you still can and as always that's what we've got time for six stream trains